14th, 2016. And the gentleman that filmed the Blue Planet right next to the full moon today, December 15th, 2016, he stepped back outside just to clarify that what he was seeing and videotaping in the skies over Minnesota is actually there and possibly filming the Blue Kachina, part of the Hopi Indian prophecy. And he's sharing the video with me, and it is absolutely astounding. I'm going to share a link directly to his YouTube channel so you can go back and view the original. Make sure you give him a thumbs up because this gentleman is the same as I. He wants the truth. That's all that he wants. That is the same that I want. I want the truth from our government. I want them to tell us what is exactly happening so we can prepare. But let's watch this video. I'm going to leave the sound and his commentary in the video because once again, this footage is absolutely awesome. Some of the best footage that I have seen. So let's go ahead and start playing his video and let's watch this. See, you can see the two lens flares. With my naked eye, I can see a shadow out of the top right and right side of the moon. But that blue thing to the left of the moon I believe it's the blue Kachina. It's in the UV band of light. That's why we can't see it with our naked eye, I believe. Now, folks, whenever you're taking a look at this video, I want you to carefully pay attention that this planet is not fully illuminated. If you look at the top right-hand side of the planet that is literally facing away from the moon is not illuminated. So, therefore... If this was a lens flare, it would be perfectly spherical. And you would see a white dot in the middle of it. So anybody saying that this is a lens flare, it's not a lens flare. That is clu uh, clearly a partially eclipsed planet being illuminated by the moon. So let's continue with his video footage. Not sure, don't quote me on that, but you know, I'm just an average, everyday stonemason. Just trying to get the truth out. We need to shut down the nuclear reactors. I believe that's the biggest threat to us as this cataclysm or event approaches. It's obviously getting closer and closer. Whether this is the true Blue Kachina or not, something or somebody is trying to warn us by putting it there. Because look at folks, it's not a lens flare. It's there to stay. I could do this all day long. Move my freaking phone up and down, I'd stick it in my ass and pull it out and show it to you again. It's still going to remain there. Now, I'm not a fear monger. I believe in the light. I am in search of the light. I am trying to get back to source just like any other soul in this soul freaking blender we call Earth. So please share this with everybody you care about. Share it with anybody you don't care about because I love everybody and I want everybody to see it. Now, this is some sort of vindication for me because I've been searching for this absolute proof for a long time now. And here it is. And people are still not believing me around me in my life. I mean, I'm, I've sent it out to everybody, and everybody wants not to hear it because it's nothing we can control. Well, I believe you, brother, and that is absolutely phenomenal footage. That is some of the best footage that I have seen. And the Hopi Indian documented this blue kachina. It is part of their, I'll say, religion. And that is absolutely awesome footage. I'd like to thank this gentleman for sharing it with us. And like I said, go back to his channel if you want to watch the original uh, video. It's under Slightly Slanted Sleuth for the Truth. I will include a link directly to his YouTube channel. And listen, folks, he's right. You know, you're searching for the truth. You're seeing these objects in the sky. And what are you supposed to think? Are you just supposed to turn away and think nothing? No, I don't think so. We have planetary objects in our solar system 
that we did not grow up with, we did not learn about in ninth grade earth space science. Leading governments around the world are not telling us anything about these planets in our solar system. What are the possibilities of this actually being the blue Kachina? I don't have 100% proof that that is the blue Kachina. I wish I had members of the Hopi Indian tribe here so I could actually speak with them. But this is absolutely phenomenal footage. Share it with everyone. Share this with everyone. Eventually, we will get the disclosure that we deserve. Now, don't forget to check your settings for notifications on your YouTube channel so you can receive updates continuously from the Nibiru channel. Now, over the past few months, YouTube has been messing around with some of the settings on YouTube channels, giving out news on Planet X, Nibiru, the Blue Kachina, and you need to safeguard your YouTube channel so you can get these notifications and stay up to date. That's what it's all about. Thank you for watching. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Nibiru channel. It is December 15th, 2016. And the gentleman that filmed the blue planet right next to the full moon today, December 15th, 2016, he stepped back outside just to clarify that what he was seeing and videotaping in the skies over Minnesota is actually there. And possibly filming the blue Kachina, part of the Hopi Indian prophecy. And he's sharing the video with me, and it is absolutely astounding. I'm going to share a link directly to his YouTube channel so you can go back and view the original. Make sure you give him a thumbs up because this gentleman is the same.